Okay. So I just left the comment because I know some of you guys are probably just coming in to see what the question is and then leaving. So the question that I'm going to be asking you guys, if you can see it, hopefully you can see it, is what is one part, hold on. Dogs. What is one positive thing that you have learned from having acne? Because a lot of the times, when we think of acne, we kind of think of like our worst selves or how it brought us down or how we have to use so much makeup to cover it up. And so what I wanna know is what is one positive thing? It can be an experience, it can be something that you learned about someone else, something that taught you, um, but one positive thing that you learned about having acne. And for today's live, last live, what I got requested was to show my current skincare routine and my skincare favorites. So I have a lot of stuff to go through. Um, this is my, all my favorites. <laughs> I don't use all of it every day, but I wanna share with you guys what has helped me the most. Um, so let's start with face washes. Uh, my favorite face wash is actually by Neutrogena and I've been using this for a really long time. It's the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. Um, it's just really good if you have sensitive skin. It takes off most of your makeup so you don't have to do like an extra step or anything. And it doesn't have a scent and it's just really good for sensitive skin. If I feel like I need a deeper clean, I've been using the Murad Essential C Cleanser. Of course, you guys know because of Banish, I'm like hooked on vitamin C. So this has vitamin C, E, and E, so it prevents sun damage and it also helps to fight like free radical damage and you know, from like being outside and stuff. Um, and then like for makeup remover for eye and lip, I just use the simple micellar water. Micellar water is awesome. I use this one or the Garnier one, but this one I feel like is gentler because the Garnier one I've realized leaves me with like little, little bumps or something. I don't know. I think this one works better for me. Let me know if I'm going too fast. And like for people who don't know, um, yeah, so micellar water is like the same thing as a makeup remover. It's just, it's not greasy. It's literally like just supercharged water. This one has multivitamins in it and you just put it on like a pad like this. Can you see? Okay, you just put it on a pad like this. Let me show you. <sighs> Like this and then you put it on your eye and if you hold it for like I don't know 60 seconds it'll literally just all come right off like mascara eyeshadow um, lip stains like everything will just come off um, for my daily toner uh, you guys probably have seen my video on my page I'm still using that same toner so I take the apple cider vinegar and the witch hazel I mix equal parts of this I will answer your guys' questions after I finish going through this. I promise I'm getting so many. It's like, ooh, girl. So I take equal parts of apple cider vinegar and the witch hazel, and I mix it with um, twice the amount of water. And I also put a couple of drops of tea tree oil. Um, as you guys know, oil and water don't mix, so I have to make sure to mix it up like each time before I use it. Let's do spot treatments because I feel like it's really hard to find a good spot treatment. I can't use, um, what is it, salicylic acid because it literally just burns a hole in my skin. I don't know if you guys have ever had that problem, but it literally like doesn't get rid of the pimple but gets rid of all the skin around it and you're like, well, that was like kind of useless. But so I you have been using the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. Let's see. Yes this one and this is you know it's all natural it has like a piney like a fresh scent if you've ever smelled tea tree oil before you know what it smells like um, I actually really like the scent and this doesn't dry your skin out at all um, it just like I'll put it on before bed I'll wake up and I'll notice it's either a lot smaller or it's gone that's for like tiny bumps for cystic bumps I have the this is the Mario Betashu buffering lotion. And y'all, yes, you gotta, if you're gonna invest in something, 
definitely invest in this because this is, if you have cystic acne, it says on the bottle that it's this, it's specifically made for cystic spots. Like this is made for cystic acne. So if you have cystic acne, I just can't talk today, you know, um, you should definitely try this. It doesn't uh, dry out the spot like the benzoyl peroxide or like the um, salicylic acid would. You just put, and the cool thing about this too is like I'm wearing it, because I have one right here, so I'm wearing it underneath my makeup. It dries down so flat that like you can't even see it. But yeah, this has, let's see, like zinc, Oh, it has biotin in it, that's weird. Zinc oxide, yeast protein. It's got some weird stuff in it, but it works. You should totally try it. Um, I don't know, I like it. Um, okay, so moisturizer. Daily moisturizer, I like to use. I will mix the vitamin C cream from Banish. It's my holy grail, y'all. It's so good with the Banish oil, and I'll use that during the day, or I'll mix it with the aloe oil, which I don't have on my table, I totally forgot to grab it, but yes, the vitamin C cream I use during the night too. I use it like almost every single day and night, it's amazing. Uh, if I don't use that, or if you're in a situation where like you don't wanna spend that much money, or like you can't afford that, I also really like um, the Andalou Naturals uh, facial lotion. It has SPF 18 in it. And that's like one thing that I wish that that lotion, well not the serum, because the serum's made for night, but one thing I wish that the lotion had was SPF. So yes, this Andalou Naturals, it's just ultra sheer daily defense lotion. I really like this, and it's age defying. And the back says that it's made with, yeah, fruit stem cells and bioactive eight berry. So it's supposed to defend against UV damage and also stimulate healthy cell renewal for optimum age defying benefits, which who doesn't need more cell renewal, girl? Cause I think we all do. And then if I'm feeling like super dry, I <laughs> I, so, I have so many products, I'm so sorry. But if I feel super duper dry, I like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Only if I'm feeling like too dry though. This is good. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so it mimics like your skin's natural barrier and it will lock in that moisture. And I'll use that during the day too. The only thing that I use at night religiously is the vitamin C serum and the vitamin C cream. And then, so like the other, the only facial spray I use is by Banish. It's the vitamin C beauty elixir. And this is, I mean, it's just, it smells amazing. It's really refreshing. Like when it hits your face, it feels colder. Um, it has aloe in it, bilberry, sugar cane, maple, orange, and like those are all organic too. So that, it's amazing, it's awesome. I'm gonna do it right now, actually. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, okay, so I am a maskaholic. Hello, my name is Callie. I'm a maskaholic. And so I'm gonna have probably a lot of masks to share with you guys. Um, the ones, again, that I use religiously, I make sure to use this one at least once a week. This is the pumpkin enzyme mask from Banish, and this is what comes in the starter kit that I'm about to, I forgot to say that with everything else, but this does come in the starter kit that we are giving away after this live. So it's amazing. The pumpkin enzyme mask has pumpkin in it, bilberry, sugar cane, orange peel, and lemon peel. It's all organic, it's awesome, and it tingles a little bit when you put it on. It doesn't burn, but it tingles, and it feels good. And it smells amazing, but really don't eat it because I tried eating it like a couple times. Like I ate it once and I was like, this is not good. And I tried it again knowing it wasn't good and it still wasn't good, but I kind of want to try it again. It's, it's never going to be good, but it just smells good. I don't know. I'm dumb. Um, and the other thing I use religiously, which if you guys, if we're friends on Snapchat, you would know is the whew, activated charcoal clay mask mixed with 
the Indian Healing Clay. So I do equal parts of both of these. And this also comes in the starter kit, which is awesome because activated charcoal is amazing. Um, I think I've said this before, but it has the ability to absorb 100 to 200 times its weight in oil. So if you're feeling like really greasy or <laughs> I don't know, if I have a big day of like wearing makeup, usually like today, I'll do this after because I feel like I need a really deep clean. It like pulls everything out. And <clears throat> if you never used this one before, it pulsates on your face as it's drying. And then this pulls everything out. And then it's literally like, <sharp inhale> so yeah, it's pretty good. I like combining these two. And sometimes if I need a super deep clean, I'll use the apple cider vinegar with it too. It's good. Um, okay, a couple other masks. So the mask set that I just posted about, the Batillion, that is awesome. Like, it is, I don't know how to, it's almost like a hydrating mask. Like, I wouldn't say that it's something that you would use if you were wanting to get rid of excess oil or that you're wearing a lot of makeup. Like, it's so soothing and leaves your skin so soft. It's almost like wearing a sheet mask, especially the Frost and Atomic. Um, I said before, the Atomic mask has, what is it? Uh, beetroot <laughs> and, there's something else. Beet and turmeric, yes. Beet and turmeric. So it's really good for the cystic spots and then for preventing against environmentally induced acne, which is awesome. And then the frost mask has, yeah, has milk powder in it. So this is gonna be like way softer on your skin and do like a gentle clean to get like, you know, excess oil and sweat and stuff like that. So yeah, I would rather use these than the sheet masks to be honest, because I feel like they're actually really hydrating. And uh, there we go. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have one more. So I always go back and forth with this one, I think. I just like it because it smells good and it's super dark, like really dark. Um, this is the Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. And so I'll go back and forth between this one and the Calcium Benetite Clay. Sometimes I add the activated charcoal into this. And that's a cool thing about powder masks is like if you have a mask that you already like, you can add that in, I don't know if you're supposed to, but you can add it in to a mask that you already like and just mix it up and put it on your face to get added benefits. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Last, oh, second to last. The last thing isn't really like a, I don't know, it's not a skincare thing. It's something I just got and I thought it'd be cool to show in case you have oily skin. Um, but this, of course, is my derma roller. And this also comes in the starter kit. And it's awesome. Um, I feel like this is what has helped me the most because it like gets, it allows product absorption to go further because it tricks your skin into producing more collagen through <laughs> through micro tiny holes. Um, so I feel like without this, you know, your products don't go as far, your skin cells aren't rejuvenating fast enough. I think that this is like the miracle worker. Like this is what helps everything else work, you know? So maybe this is what I can't live without actually because since I started using that's funny, it's like upside down. Since I started using this, it, I mean, you guys can tell, it looks like, it just keeps getting better. Like I'm, I'm very impressed fam. V impressed fam, yes. Okay, so the last thing, and this is um, something that I just got, but I thought it'd be cool to show you guys. It is by Murad. It is the Matte Effect Blotting Perfector. So it looks like this. Basically, what this is, instead of, you guys know the oil absorbing sheets, you know what I'm talking about, the little sheet, and then you're like, oh look, little grease stains, I'm a grease ball. Um, so instead of that, you basically use this, it's like a liquid, and this pad, and you can do it on top of your makeup. Yeah, on top of your makeup. Um, on liquid makeup, on powder makeup, and it has pomegranate in it, so it basically makes your pores like shrink up. And 
I don't know if that did anything. And um, it stays like 10 to 15 degrees cooler than your body temperature. So like if you're outside on a hot day, you're working out or just like me and you have like hot flashes <laughs> all the time, this is really, really awesome. Like, and it smells amazing. I don't know. I really, really like it so far. I mean, I've only been using it for a little while, but if I do wear makeup, no matter what, I get greasy, even if it's like super mattifying. So yeah, the Matte Perfector by Murad. It's pretty dope. And I like that you don't have to like put more makeup on or waste those little sheets. Like it's just in one compact. And that, I guess, is supposed to last like three and a half months because the little sponge in there, you can flip it. So, it's pretty cool. Okay, oh my God. Okay, I'm going through all the comments now. Oh, what is my horoscope? I am a Sagittarius, half woman, half beast. How is my skin now? Um, it's good. I had like a little bit of a, not a setback, but I've been off Accutane for like almost a year now, which is kind of insane. Uh, but like the last month or two, I would get like one cystic spot, and then the next week I'll get another one, the next week I'll get another one, and then it was like two on my period. I was like, what is going on? So really what I started doing is looking at my diet, looking at my vegetable intake, my fruit intake, my water intake, and just overall making sure that I get what I'm supposed to have every single day. And since I've done that and also cut out dairy, I haven't gotten a single cyst except for this last one that I got my period. But besides that, I think it's done. I think we're Gucci. I'm done worrying about it. And you know what? It comes back. It's all right, y'all, because I don't care. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm, I look like the ginger girl from Riverdale. I don't know who that is, but thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Welcome to my humble abode. What products you use for acne? Just banish. Everything I just listed is what I use for acne. Um, a lot of it is banish, but some of it, like the spot treatments are the body shop and then the face wash I use in your ad. Um, but yeah, a lot, I mean, I love banish. I love that it's all natural and organic and that you're not putting up like a bunch of harsh chemicals into your skin. I feel like since I took Accutane, probably did the most harsh chemical that I could put into my body. Now I really watch what I'm putting on my skin and into my body because I realize how important it is. And can you guys still see that comment that I left of the question um, that goes to the post? Let me know because I need to know if you can see it. How to be confident with acne. Um, I think I said this before, but I've never related confidence with beauty. I've always thought confidence comes from, you know, am I doing good like in school or like how's my work life going? How's my relationship with my family? Am I caught up? Um, am I making like good art? You know what I mean? So for me, confidence actually relates to other things. So if I'm confident in that, I don't really feel like personal appearance is like what you should be judged on. And so don't worry about other people judging you on personal appearance because it probably don't matter. <laughs> Just be yourself and those people that love you will love you regardless. That's how you're confident, girl. Just don't worry about it. To become stronger in myself, lots of patient, oh, you're answering the question. When others love me, whatever my skin looks like. Is my hair color natural? It is, it is um, very natural and people always don't believe me because my brows are like black almost. I'm just a weird ginger. Is that cleanser better than the Cetaphil and CeraVe one? I don't like those personally because I felt like they didn't take all my makeup off and they left kind of like a film on my face. Like I don't like cleansers. I don't want my face to feel stripped, but I don't like it when it feels moisturized after I cleanse. I just think I feel greasy. Um, so yeah, I think it's better than Cetaphil and CeraVe. Um, I can take pictures of uh, the products on Snapchat. I will do that, faux show. 
and my Snapchat is the same as my Instagram, it's my face story. And honestly, like I don't post about skin all the time on my Snapchat, just sometimes I was doing the one a days. Most of it is just like my life. <laughs> so if you're interested in that or not, it is my face story. I learned, I learned to love myself on any form of skin and truly appreciate the beauty of what lies beneath it. Girl, that's beautiful. Um, where do we comment our answer? Here on, on the actual post. Comment on the actual post um, because the giveaway is gonna last a week. So people are gonna be able to comment all week and then me and Banish are gonna go through and look at the comments. Acne taught me so many things. It taught me I'm not alone. There are so many people who are going through the same thing as me. Acne taught me about my body and health, most important. Yeah, me too. It actually, as you guys saw, it taught me a lot about skincare and like how taking care of your skin is really important, even though, um, I don't know. Not like I didn't take care of my skin before, of course I did, but now I feel like I know so much, like I'm an acne wizard, you know what I mean? So. I feel like that's what it taught me. Um, I wanted to ask you about Banish. I'm taking antibiotics for my acne, so I haven't started to use my kit, but do you think I could still use it? Yes, you can definitely still use your kit. Um, I have taken antibiotics and used all of it, and it was completely fine, so yeah, you could use it. I've also taken probiotics and been using it, so. To enter the giveaway, just comment your answer to my question. What is one positive thing that you have learned from having acne? Comment your answer to that question on my post on Instagram, the one that I just posted, the last one with all the products. That post, comment. Um, yeah. I was gonna do something like, something generic like what are the top five ingredients in the pumpkin enzyme mask or what does a derma roller do but I felt like this was going to be more personal and more geared towards you guys it's not something that you can look up it's something that you have to actually think about and answer so I figured people who really wanted it would have um, an answer <laughs> and if you guys can hear my dogs going crazy they don't like that I'm talking to myself on this phone so yeah they're like clawing at the door what mask do i use to get rid of dark marks spots oh for that i use a pumpkin enzyme mask faux faux for show because it's going to be exfoliating um and it has the what is it Yeah, so it has glycolic acid in it. So it is gonna be exfoliating. It's gonna help the cell turn over faster. Um, I just use it as a spot treatment or, you know, overall my whole face if I wanna do a mask. And then after I do that spot treatment, I might put like, I don't know, tea tree oil or something on it to really dry it up. But that's how I get rid of um, spots fast. I feel like there's no really fast way to get rid of it. Like they last, last a little bit of time, um, but that's okay. I learned to love myself with acne and scars. Yes, girl. <laughs> I guess you still have large pores, exclamation point. Um, those are freckles, but thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be here all day. I would like only the charcoal mask. You can buy it on Vanish's website. What moisturizer did I use while in Accutane? Um, I use the same one, the Andalou Naturals. I didn't really feel like my face got so dry as my lips did, but yeah, this was good enough for me. And it has SPF in it, so that's good. Uh, how 
how's my skin doing? I don't know if I, I think I answered that. I don't know. Um, so my skin's doing good now that I've changed my diet. Um, yeah, it's doing way better than it was. And also I've been working out too. And I feel like that's helped because, you know, with school and work and hubbies and dogs and just like all these responsibilities, I feel like stress is a big cause of my acne because there's a lot of things you can't control, especially cultural stress. Like you have to go to work, you know, and you have to sit in traffic and you have to study for like five hours. So, oh my gosh. Um, things that you can't control are things that like I feel like really stress me out and working out has helped me to relieve that stress. One and only product I think is best for acne scars. This, the Banisher, because it actually is going to be the most physically abrasive. It's going to create the tiny holes in your skin. I mean, you can't, like, obviously you can't see them. It creates the micro channels in your skin. That way your products can penetrate deeper and your cell regeneration can happen faster than it normally would. Um, I feel like this, without this, it's kind of just like putting product on a piece of paper. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not really gonna absorb, but this helps it absorb better and actually do like what it's supposed to do. So this is the product. If you had to buy one product <laughs> for acne scars for the rest of my life, this is what I would use. How much water do I drink daily? Um, oh my gosh, a lot. <laughs> like, I feel like I drink too much. That's all I drink. I've never, I've never really drank pop. Like we didn't grow up drinking pop in my house. So I've always drank just water. Um, I had like one of those smart waters that's like the size of your body earlier. And then I've had two water bottles since then. So I feel like I've probably have had my daily amount times 20. I've cut dairy and still have spots. That's the like crazy thing though, is that we're all different, you know? Cause I had never thought that that would work for me. I was like, oh, this is like hocus pocus, you know, it's hogwash, it's not gonna work. And it doesn't work for everyone, but I figured why not give it a try since my dermatologist was talking about going back on Accutane and I didn't wanna jump back into that, you know? Um, I'm sorry that it helped for you. I have, I didn't notice it start working until like literally 30 days in. And some people say, oh, you'll notice in two weeks. And then some people say, oh, three months. So I'm just gonna keep doing it and see if it keeps working. I should be an actress. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Totally unrelated to acne. Your teeth are so white. What do I use? <laughs> I don't, I think that it's just the lighting because I don't, like I use um, Sensodyne, like the sensitive <laughs> toothpaste because I clench my teeth at night, like that. So I use Sensodyne or I think it's called Jason's. It's like the natural toothpaste, but both of those in the whitening version are what I use. Sensodyne's good though. It's real good toothpaste, man, because it'll whiten your teeth and it won't leave them sensitive. Um, what happens if you use dairy products? So some people can have an, a form of an intolerance to dairy where actually instead of being physically intolerant where it makes you throw up or like, no, go number two, um, it'll excrete in the form of pimples. So it's trying to leave your body but has nowhere to go. So it comes out in the form of cystic spots. It's your body is in, like unable to process the hormone that is in dairy. And a lot of people have it apparently. <clears throat> oh, you guys can't see the question. Okay, I'm getting to these comments now that you, okay. So the question is, what is one positive thing that you have learned about yourself from having acne? One positive thing you've learned about yourself. And don't comment it here, comment it on the Instagram post. But yeah, I thought that was, I don't know, I thought it was a good question maybe because we're always like saying all the negatives about it, but like what's one thing it taught you, you know? Like did it teach you to be more confident or did it teach you like, oh, I'm gonna be a dermatologist with my life. Like what's one good thing that came out of having acne? I 
I show you that acne is normal and it's not always our fault. You're so right, it's mostly genetics. It's like 80% or probably, I feel like it's probably 85% genetics, like mostly genetics. It's totally normal. How can you feel confident if you are 14 with acne? Um, just know that you're probably, honestly, I had acne when I was that age too. You're probably just going through puberty and it'll go away real soon, girl, and you'll be happy. <laughs> A lot of people have acne at that age, I promise. It's completely normal and just don't, like, seriously, don't worry about it. I know you feel like it's embarrassing and how can I not worry about it, but just know that it'll go away and you'll grow up and you will be gorgeous and 30 and flirty and thriving. <laughs> Is my hair still falling out? No, actually. I've been using, um, so I've been doing a couple different things. I've been using only cold water. Um, I've been using a wet brush. I don't know if you guys know what that is or not. It's like the WET brush. And then I've also been using like a special, it's like organic shampoo and conditioner that's supposed to restore hair growth. It's actually grown a lot. It's like past my belly button now. So, no, it actually stopped falling out, which is kind of awesome, because it was falling out for probably like five months straight. Ugh. Your brows are the same, multicolor, black brows. Hard to color them in sometimes. Yeah, I don't do anything to mine. Like, mine are just, this is just hair. It's just like that. I'm too lazy. I get people all the time, though, and they're like, oh my god, your brows, like, you should do something. Uh, no. No, not gonna do anything to my brows. I like them like this and they will stay like that and that's that. Cleanser was the Neutrogena Gentle Cleanser and also the Murad Cleanser, the Essential Vitamin C Cleanser. What's a, I'm a motivation. Oh girl, you're a motivation. What's the best foundation to cover scars? Um, I really like the L'Oreal Pro Matte if you're oily or the Pro Glow if you're normal. Um, and then the other one I've been using if you don't want anything too heavy on your face, which is at what the point I'm at now, um, I've been using the Tarte, it's Confidence Powder Foundation. This is just powder, which is like, didn't think I'd be able to get back to that point again, you know what I mean? So it feels pretty good. But I have found those both the best. And one trick for covering acne scars, I can do like a acne scar coverage tutorial if that, if you guys think that would help. Um, I could totally do that. But one thing that helps is like using a good moisturizer before um, and also using a good primer. So I like the Smashbox Water Primer or the Laura Geller, Laura Geller Spackle Primer. Sorry, this is like so much information for you guys. Um, but both of those, I feel like if you're starting with like a smooth canvas, then it helps your foundation to like blend kind of seamlessly and not sit in the cracks, you know? The cracks, like I'm a piece of concrete or something. Ooh, there's my lamp. How do I not pick at acne? Um, I, I honestly, like I didn't pick at any of these cause I was so afraid of scarring, but Guess what fam, happened anyways, has nothing to do with picking. Picking can like enhance scarring or make it happen faster. But um, yeah, so how not to pick at your acne. I don't, like I never really had that much of a problem. You could try using the hydrocolloid bandage and maybe that would help you not like scratch at it or put makeup on top of it. I don't know, I never really had that problem, I'm sorry. I feel like I can't answer that. Do I recommend Tea Tree Series from The Body Shop? Um, I have a couple of their other things. I wasn't really that big of a fan of them, but I do like the Tea Tree Oil a lot. Um, I like the Tea Tree Oil and I have like a, it's called a Daily Imperfection Solution. I was, yeah, I wasn't really a fan of that one, but Tea Tree Oil is good. I have four days left on Accutane. Can I use rollers immediately or do I need to wait? Um, you need to wait. Uh, to do more abrasive treatments after Accutane, I waited, I think, five months. They usually say five to six months, and then your skin will be ready to take on like more abrasive treatments. Ask 
so many. Do I take contraceptive pill? I took Accutane, but I'm afraid to stop taking that. Yes, I do take contraceptive pill. I've taken the same one since I was 16. And just like you, I am also very afraid to stop taking that. I don't think, um, unless I have to, I'll start stop taking it soon. Maybe in like three years or so when I want to have babies, but not, not right now. Yeah, it's, it's freckles, girl. This is not pores, it's freckles. <laughs> What moisturizer do I use every day? I use the Vitamin C Cream by Banish, or I use the Andalou Naturals um, Daily Moisturizer. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, hey Danielle, what's up girl? I ordered my Banish kit last week and I can't wait to use everything. You've given me so much confidence. I hope it works. Yes, it'll work. Just keep using it regularly. It'll work, I promise. I felt the same way. I was like, mm, I don't know about this voodoo, but yeah, it'll work. So just keep it like, I use my roller once every two weeks and I feel like that is plenty enough because if you actually use it any more than that, you're not giving your skin enough time to heal and then it can actually damage it. So you wanna wait at least two weeks and it'll work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know, it's so many questions. Oh, okay, so before I get off here, because my time is up, because my dogs are going insane. My question is, what is one positive thing that having acne, or <laughs> that you have learned from having acne? One positive thing that you have learned from having acne um, can be a story, a lesson learned, an experience, just something good that came out of having acne. and. I guess that's all the time I have for today, guys. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't get to answer your questions, but I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will post all of my favorite skincare items on my Snapchat story right now so that if you're interested, you can look at those. And my Snapchat is the same as my Instagram. It's my face story, or you can search it under my real name, Callie Kushner. <laughs> I think it should come up under that too. All right, bye.